Today I want to share how we can have a living hope in uncertain times. In 1 Peter 1 verse 3 we read, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Peter states in the new birth that provides our living hope, affirming that salvation is a gift from God. And I thank God that that was my experience over 50 years ago when I put my faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted that offer of salvation. The living hope is energizing, alive and active in the soul of the believer. We live with great expectations. Our living hope originates from a resurrected Saviour. Living hope is anchored in the past. Jesus rose from the dead. It continues in the present. Jesus is alive today and it endures throughout the future. Jesus promises eternal resurrected life. Living hope also enables me to live without despair and we, enc we all encounter suffering and trials in this present life and throughout the epidemic. We cannot survive without hope. Hope keeps us going through painful experiences and fear of what the future may hold. We need a living hope. The believer's living hope is solid and secure because we are reminded in Hebrews chapter 6, Jesus Christ is my saviour, my salvation and my living hope. It has affected me massively in this world of hardship, isolation and loneliness. Sometimes our plans do not work out. In Psalm 130 verse 5 it says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. Over the past year my plans that I hoped for did not work out. I struggled through the times of isolation, but yet when I went to the word I found this hope in Jesus Christ and he remains the same, my living hope. You may associate the word hope with, oh, I hope it doesn't rain, or I hope I've passed that exam. But whenever we use the word hope um, in this context, You'd sort of say that you're probably not confident um, or it's quite wishful thinking. And the Bible's interpretation of hope means an eager, confident expectation. And this eager, confident expectation is Jesus Christ. And the type of hope is so different to the wishful thinking of this world. This hope is Jesus Christ. This hope is alive and it's living. And the hope that I have in Jesus gives me a peace and contentment in my life. I'm not always running after the latest thing to give me satisfaction. It also means that I don't never have problems, but I have the peace of God in my problems. It gives me direction and purpose in life, knowing that God has designed my life. I never feel alone, but I have the creator of the world guiding every step. And a verse that sums all of this up for me is found in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. is that whenever you sincerely put your trust in Jesus Christ, and you ask him to be your saviour and forgive you from your sins, you know, he promises that he will do that. And not only does he do that, but he also promises to give you abundant life here on earth and also everlasting life with him in heaven afterwards. You know, whenever, whenever our life here on earth is over, and you know, none of us know when that's going to be, but the promise we have is everlasting life in heaven with God. There's a verse in, in the Bible in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, and it speaks of this everlasting life. And it says, Now we live with great expectation, and we have a priceless inheritance, 
an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. Now the Bible refers to this everlasting life, it compares it to a priceless inheritance. An inheritance that cannot be bought is priceless and it's for those who put their trust in God and in Jesus Christ. You know, it's an inheritance that doesn't change. You know, in a world where things can change very, very quickly, and we've even seen that over these past months, you know, this priceless inheritance, it doesn't change. And the God in whom we put our trust, he doesn't change either. You know, also in a world where things decay and break down and lose value, this priceless inheritance, it doesn't decay. It doesn't lose value. And it's for those who put their trust in God. And that's one thing that makes this living hope so, so different. Well, hello and thank you for watching the videos this far. My name is Pastor Neil McMullen and I minister here at Mullen Needham Church. The topic that the guys have been speaking about today is hope. Their hope is found in God. And I want to just speak to you briefly today about hopelessness. And I have noticed that today, walking our streets, there is hopelessness, hopelessness found. I've noticed that many people's countenance is, is down and when you speak to people, perhaps they, they fail to respond or they just look cold past you. And this is a sign of a greater problem. There's a sign, there must be a sign that hopelessness is starting to take over our land. You know, Christmas is a time where, where the spirit of all men should be lifted. It's a time of hope. It's a time where we get to look past our present situation and we get to look to God for hope and for prospect. You know, the scripture says many things. There's some, some truths I just want to say to you in, in ordinary words. The first is this, that there is a God. And perhaps you need reminded of this truth today, that there is a God that you personally were created with design and with purpose and not just by chance. That God says in scriptures that he knows your very name. That he desires for you to turn to him and have a relationship with him. You know, he loves you more than you can ever imagine. And he says he showed this love for you and I by, by going to the cross and dying for us. That's where he displayed his love for the world. But before the cross could happen, there had to be the birth of Christ. And of course, that's what Christmas is all about, the birth of Christ and the hope that it offers. I just want to ask you one simple question today. Where is your hope found? What does life mean to you? What is it about? Is your hope found in who you are and what you've accomplished in life? Or is it found in God? Because everything else is going to, going to just falter away. But the man or woman who's trust in God will remain strong and steadfast. Jeremiah says this, Blessed is the man or woman who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. You notice that the man of God has no confidence in anything that this world has to offer. No man, no woman, no material object. His confidence is found in God. When, when things start to falter, when the life starts to fall down around him, it's God that he looks to. And that's what I want to point you to today. Don't look around the world for help. I want to point you to God. One more interesting verse is found in Psalm 42. It says this, Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God. Now here we see a man of God wrestling with himself. It's as if there's a sense of hopelessness has come over his life. He, perhaps many good things going on in his life, but there's this dull, this low that he has deep within him. There's a longing. He's a longing soul, and he has to counsel himself. And he's saying, why, why are you cast down so? Listen, we don't trust in this. We trust in that. We trust in God. And that's what I want to point you today. This world would, would point, us, point us to many things to find purpose and meaning, but it's only found in and through Christ, in and through God. And I want to point you to that. And there's one way that Jesus does that very clearly. And he says this, Jesus' own words, speaking to you and I, come to me, he says, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Now, I believe if there's ever a time that men and women need peace in their souls is today. There's a hopelessness that has taken over the hearts and homes of many. I want to remind you that there's hope, that there's, there's, there's not a hopelessness to be found in Christ. There's hope. A hope that is that is a sure confidence what God said he will do. So I just want to say, if you would like to find out more about Christ or this hope, please do get in contact through the, the Facebook page and I will personally get back to you. But in the meantime, I pray that you would be blessed and I just would like to say Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Jesus Christ, my living hope, God you are.